What is eBay's file exchange? How does it work? What can we do with it? And how we can manage all of our store using this eBay's platform? Hello everybody, I'm Leo Posen, I'm owner and CEO of AutoDS. In this video, I want to show you a full overview of our eBay's file exchange system. So first of all, what is eBay's file exchange system? The file exchange system is the system that allows you to manage all of your eBay store using CSV files or Excel files. And what do I mean? Using this system, you can actually manage everything that you want on your eBay store. You can change your prices, you can upload new products, change quantities, change titles, and many other functionalities. Also, you can check what are the statuses of your active listings, of your sold products, and many other operations that you can do over your store. So let's go over this system and see how does it work. First of all, to get into the system, what you need to do is to go to eBay and write eBay, eBay file exchange. Go to the first result here where you see file exchange eBay. And here is the system. So first of all, as I said, this system many eBay dropshippers are using and many eBay sellers are using at, at, at in general. The first option that you have here is the upload files. The upload files allows you actually to list products to eBay or to upload pro files, CSV files, with any operations that you want to do. You can check, you can upload here products, you can change quantities and you can change titles or prices and any other operation. What you need to do is to create a file with the right format on your computer. Click here, choose file and upload uh, the file here. When you use AutoDS, the manual dropshipping solution, the non-API solution, you can list the files here and Actually, AutoDS does this for you. The AutoDS using the AutoDS Chrome extension, manual Chrome extension, will list the files using this option. The second option here on the file exchange is the view upload results. So if I go to view upload results, I will see here the results of all of my previous uploads because when I upload it, it will take some time. It can take few minutes or even few hours if eBay has some queues. And then the result will be a uh, appear here will appear here so here we can see the uploaded file if i download it i will see the file that autodesk created for me actually automatically and uploaded to this system let's see how the file looks so this is just an example you can see here the revised item id the title that we put for this product here all of the different variations that we listed or here only one product only one, one variation quantity and actually, if I play with this file, if I change here any of the numbers, I can list the product using the Upload Files option and it will be listed to eBay and update the uh, right products according to the item ID here. The next thing here is the option of download the Load Results Report. So, after Autodesk uploaded the product for you, Autodesk will download the uh, results file from here. Actually, again, you can do it manually and then you can actually go to your monitor and upload the product with the results from here. So if I click here, let's take the result of the fourth upload. I will open the file here and here I can see what happened with my uh, uploaded file. For example, here I can see that the status of the upload of the uploads was failure and here is the reason. So if you want to debug and to check what's going on with your uploads, just go to the view upload results section. Here you have the download uh, button, click on the download button and you will be able to see what's going on with your uploads, with your uploaded files. The next thing here is the downloads. So we have here the download section. The download section is the section of all of the operations that we can do on our store to actually check the current results of our store, the current statuses of our store. It can be the sold results or the active listings. So if I click on the download files, here I will have the listings and the records. And here are the options that we can do. 
actually we are usually using the active uh, report and the sold report the sold for the sold products and the active for the active listings product if i click here i can choose the standard uh, option all active listings or only listings that uh, are closing between these days it depends on what you need then i click uh, here i put the email address i just need to put here any valid email address if you're using AutoDSS chrome extension it will send the results to the email address that you put on your manual dropshipping chrome extension on the non-api chrome extension and then click save after a few uh, minutes or hours it depends on the uh, sizes of the files that ebay creates for you you will see it under the completed downloads so if i click here 30 days i will see all of the results of the previous upload of the previous download uh, request that I sent to eBay and here I can download the results file just click download and then I will have here the uh, results of my sold products here I will have all of my sold uh, uh, records all of my sold orders actually so this is about the download section the download section can help us in many cases if we want to check if the files are creating, if Autodesk creates the files for us every hour, we can check that Autodesk creates files for us here for the sold report every 15 minutes or depending to the, on the configuration. And it can really uh, be useful for us for debugging and uploading results to Autodesk even manually if we want. For example, we can download the sold report and upload it here manually to import orders from eBay file exchange to Autodesk. And then all of our orders will appear in AutoDS if the product's already added on the active listings page. About the active listings page, you can download from here using the export listings for file exchange and upload using the upload functionality of the eBay's file exchange that I showed you before. About the untrack listings, if I want the untrack listings to be shown on AutoDS, Without using the extension, I can just click here, add new on track listings and all of my and then list the product of the active listings results here using the start upload button, using the choose file button, just add it here and then it will appear here. So this why the file exchange is really useful for us and this why I really wanted to show you the, this full overview of eBay's file exchange and I hope that this video like helps you. Comment down with any questions that you have about eBay's file exchange, about dropshipping in general, about AutoDS. And don't forget to, to subscribe for our YouTube channel and like this video. See you on the next videos. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.